hey, hello you! In this fairly short video, we're going to take a look at how to style multi-line elements with the new box decoration break utilities added to Tailwind CSS in version 2.1. We have a paragraph of white text here, and let's say we want to add a background color that follows the text lines, something like we would get when we highlight the text with the mouse. In the HTML, I can come in the H1 heading tag here and add a BG Blue 500 class. But this is not really going to achieve the effect we're going for since the H1 tag is a block level element. So we could wrap our text in a span element, or we can add the inline class to our H1. And yeah, nice, now it's starting to look like we want it. Let's say we also want to add some horizontal padding so the background color doesn't stop right next to the last letter in the first letter. So we're going to add a PX class and let's go with something quite big so we can really see it. So I'll go PX12 to demonstrate. What we can see here is the padding has only been applied to the start of the very first line and the end of the very last line. For all the other lines in between, the background stops right flush against the last letter and the first letter. The entire text here is treated as one single inline element because it's what it is, so the padding is applied at the start and the end of that element, not each separate lines. You might be tempted to try something like inline block here to see if that possibly works, but that's going to go back to the full width of the block level, so let's undo this. And turns out that there's another CSS property that helps when you want to do something with individual line within an inline element, and this property is called the box decoration break. The box decoration break property lets you decide if within an inline element like this, each single line, also called fragment, should be styled independently or part of the group. To use this property in Tailwind, you can use the decoration utility. And as you can see, there's two possible values, slice, which is the default behavior, and clone. So let's use slice here first. And nothing's going to change because this is the default behavior, but you can think of it as if this whole thing was a one-liner, so the padding would be only applied to the start and the end, and then we would slice uh, this whole thing in multiple lines and just stack the lines on top of each other, but we still have only one start and one end, and then some slices in between. Now, if we change decoration slice to decoration clone, now things are different. You can see that every single line has the same treatment. Essentially, you can think of it as taking the styling for the single line and then clone it and apply it to each single individual line or fragment. Let's turn the background into a gradient. So I'll add the class BG gradient to right. And instead of BG blue 500, we'll go from blue 500. And let's go to transparent. And here's a really nice effect. And since we're using decoration clone, the gradient from blue to transparent is cloned and applied to each single individual line or fragment. If I change this to decoration slice, now our gradient starts from blue 500 and gradually becomes more transparent towards the end of the entire text. I can remove completely this decoration slice utility and we're still going to have the exact same behavior here because it's the default. So what's the use of having a decoration slice utility? Well, you can use it when you want to undo a decoration clone that you've applied somewhere. So let's bring back decoration clone here and let's say that on hover, we want to do decoration slice. And unless you're using the just-in-time mode, you'll need to enable the hover variant for the box decoration break plugin like so. And so now we start with the clone value where the styling is repeated on each line and on hover we switch to the slice mode where there's only one line that is sliced into multiple. And that's it. That already wraps it up for this short video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.